Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve basic calculator problem from lead code. It is a healthy odd problem. The problem description goes like this. Implement a basic calculator to evaluate a simple expression string. The expression string may contain open and closing parentheses, the plus or minus sign, non-negative integers and empty spaces. And they have given us three example input and outputs which we can use it to verify the correctness of our solution. And they have asked us explicitly not to use the eval function because it takes care of everything. Let's consider a basic expression, which is 7 minus 8 plus 9. So what we are going to do is we are going to use stack for this problem because stack is the most suitable data structure that you can use this for problem. Find out the solution. So stack is always first in and last out so we are inserting the elements inside the stack 7 goes first and then minus 8 and then plus and then 9 so basically the expression is evaluated from left to right so if we evaluate this expression it is 7 minus 8 which is minus 1 and plus 9 which gives you plus 8 as the total but if you evaluate it from the right side, which is 9 plus 8, 17 minus 7, 10, which is not correct. That is what would happen if you do the stack way, because we are going to evaluate from right to left because of the first in last out logic. So for this, you can use a queue or we can use stack in such a way that we would iterate through the elements in the reverse order. When we iterate through the elements in the reverse order, then we would evaluate the expression from left to right and then we would be able to get the correct solution. So let's see what are all the steps that needs to be done to solve this problem. So we are going to iterate over the given string by each character and then we are going to ignore if there is any space character present. And if the operand is more than one digit, then multiply the digits accordingly to get the operand value. And then we can insert that into the stack. Then if the character is going to be the open braces, then it means that it's an end of an expression since we are iterating backwards. So evaluate the expression until you encounter a closing bracket. So you have to consume all the values inside the stack until you encounter a closing bracket and then you would find out the result for it and then replace it inside the stack. And you keep doing this until all the elements in the stack are being used. Let's start implementing the solution. Let's define a function called as calculate, which is going to get a expression string. Now we need to iterate over the string. For that, we need to know the length of the expression string. So length of expression string and then we are going to have for loop for i in range of length size minus one since the array starts from zero index and then until zero minus one is not inclusive and then we are going to iterate in reverse direction. So a minus one. And then what we are going to do now is check if the element is a digit. String of i is digit. If it is digit then we are going to add it to a variable called as operand so we are doing this because that can be more than one digit in an operand. In that case, we need to multiply it by the number. N is going to be the digit placement. Uh, maybe we can write it as digit so that it would be easy for us to understand. 
and then initialize digit here to zero and then op brand also equal to zero. So now what this statement does is it is going to multiply with the power of 10 to the digit and then it is going to multiply it with the value that we are iterating over and then plus operand if there was any other value present on the inside. Once we've done this, we are going to increment the digit counter. Now this part is done. And then now we are going to do a else if else statement. We don't need an else if statement here. And one more condition we forgot is if it is a space. Spaces needs to be ignored. So if expression string is equal to equal to space and then continue. We don't need to do anything here. And in the else statement, we are going to check if there is an operand value. If there is a digit present, if there is a digit present, then we are going to add it to the stack dot and we are going to add the operand value. And once we add the operand value, we need to initialize it back to zero. So stack is not initialized yet. So let's initialize stack. Now we are going to check for the braces if expression string of i is equal to equal to the opening bracket then result is going to be eval expression and then we are going to pass the stack to it we would write the eval expression method later and once this is done there would be a brace that is left behind in the stack so we need to pop that out stack down pop and then we are going to add the result again inside this is used because the expression can be a sub expression so it needs to be added back to get the complete result stack dot append just and now if it is not a open braces then we just add it to the stack we don't need to check for anything else and after all this we are going to check if there are going to be any other digit present if it is present then we are going to add it to stack dot append operand and then we are going to return evaluate expression stack if there are no open bracket at the end or no brackets at all then this eval expression would get kicked in so now let's define the evaluate expression function define eval expression and this function is going to take stack as the input. So result is going to be stack dot pop. We need to first check like if that is actually a stack. If the stack is empty, then we cannot do this one. So if stack then do this else this is going to be zero and now we are going to iterate over the stack while stack and stack of minus one which is the previous element is not equal to the closing bracket because we want to iterate over the stack until we find the closing bracket 
when we find the closing bracket the sub expression is over so we don't need to evaluate anymore now we are going to check for the operator so operator is equal to stack dot pop so this would give us the operation whether it is a plus or a minus and then if operator is going to be a plus which is addition what we are going to do is result is equal to result plus stack dot pop this stack dot pop will give us the next operand else result is equal to result minus stack dot pop because there are only two arithmetic operation possible if it is not addition then it is going to be subtraction and then we are going to return result so evaluate expression returns a result which would be popped back inside into the stack again here and then one more mistake that we did is here it should not be a stack dot up and result it should be an expression string of okay um we are done with the solution so let's add test cases let's use the first example to test our solution For this input we are expecting an answer of 2 so let's run our solution and we have an issue and it throws an error with digits not matching and ah here we didn't specify the index i and this is not a space okay so let's run the solution again yeah. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is correct now let's add the next test case. And then the third test case as well. Yes, the second test case should get a result of 3 and the third test case should get a result of 23 as expected. So we are good. And we have solved this solution with time complexity of O of n since we iterated over the elements only once. And the space complexity is n because we created a stack and then we inserted every element inside the stack and then we popped it out. This solution has a time complexity of O of n and space complexity of O of n as well. That's the end of this video. If you would like to see more solutions for the lead code problems, then please show your support by subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching this video.